We have a sampling of events held this week marking Catholic Schools Week in the Diocese of Springfield. Locally, a number of activities took place to celebrate this annual event that began nationwide more than 40 years ago. Carolee McGrath has a look now at some of the highlights. Students at St. Joan of Arc School in Chicopee parade through the hallways. It was part of the National Catholic Schools Week celebration. On this day, the parade was for the super kids of St. Joan of Arc. So today the students in K through 2 are dressed up as super kids and those are the characters in our reading series. And so we're going to be parading through the preschool through fifth grade to show off our costumes. Super Kids is a reading program used at St. Joan of Arc. What do you like about coming to Catholic school? Um, that, that you do a parade when you, when you um, are a super kid. Into the republic for which you stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Catholic Schools Week has been celebrated since 1974 by the National Catholic Education Association. The week gives administrators, teachers, students, and their parents a time to showcase and be proud of their school. This year the theme was Catholic Schools, Communities of Faith, Knowledge, and Service. At St. Mary's High School in Westfield, students learned about the Chinese New Year from international students who shared food and customs. Before I came to America, I studied for 10 years in China, and I feel like I want to express a different kind of education, so I went here. Uh, St. Mary is a small school so that every teachers and the counselors could offer different like special care and help to us which will make me very happy and I can get on very well with every of my classmates and I just enjoy the feeling of being a small family. In Adams, the kids at St. Stanislaus Koska School were busy all week working on projects to thank those who serve our country. Protect them as they protect us. Bless them and their families for the selfless acts. Second graders made valentines for those serving in the military and for local police officers and firefighters. We're making cards for army members and people who protect our world. Why is that important to do? Because, well, they won't have, they won't have a lot of inspiration to do what they're doing without cards that people make for them. The older kids made paper cranes to send to Washington. Our 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th graders are having an origami crane workshop today. They're making cranes to um, send along with letters to our national leaders. Uh, the crane is a symbol of peace. It's really, um, it's an origami, a Japanese um, origami paper art. It kind of um, came about after the book came out, Sadako and a Thousand Paper Cranes, in which um, a young girl in Japan contracted a leukemia. She, got, she developed leukemia because of the bomb in World War II. So um, they're, along with the letters that they're going to write to our national leaders, letting them know about the value of Catholic schools, they're also going to include as many cranes as we can make this week and next week, helping them to remember that we all, you know, we, we yearn for a peaceful world. At St. Agnes Academy in Dalton, seventh graders used the week to give back, hosting a book sale to benefit their school library. We, it started off in religion class, though, and we were trying to come up with some things that we could do to help the school. And so, well, it was originally my idea, but we all started adding on to it, though. And so we started getting, well, we came up with the book sale idea to sell books, though, to, and we were going to use the money to put on Barnes & Noble gift cards to give the librarian. Other activities included a special mass and a dance. Well, we kicked off the week with a, a PTO-sponsored uh, snowball dance. It's a family dance. Uh, we had about 250 folks attending uh, with food and a DJ, and uh, it was a great time. One of the great things about Catholic Schools Week is it highlights the gift of faith in the classroom. Students at Catholic schools start their day with a prayer, and it's perfectly normal for them to talk about Jesus, Mary, and the saints. And they know that even if they're having a bad day, that Jesus is always near. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. I like to be able to be in the Catholic school, like to play and stuff. Um, Catholic schools really 
um, work hard to develop a like a family aspect in the classroom and throughout the entire school, which you don't really get in the uh, public school area. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really great to be able to be in, a, in an atmosphere where you can share your faith and really um, talk about God and talk about Jesus and um, just have the opportunity to kind of build a community around around your school. Father Chris Malatesta is the pastor at St. Agnes Parish. Well, I'm a product of public school myself uh, because the town I grew up in didn't have a Catholic school. So ever since I've been ordained, I've been involved working in Catholic schools and it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, the children are able to talk about Jesus, learn about Jesus, um, hopefully treat one, one another like Jesus as well. And we teach that um, through the conversations that we have, um, learning about Jesus and then being able to do community service as well. And so students across the diocese and the nation proudly showed off what and who sets Catholic education apart. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. Wow, this was a busy and fun week. And if you would like to learn more about any of the Catholic schools in Western Massachusetts, check out the link we have on our website at iobserve.org. And there you can also find up-to-date information and news on the Catholic Church, both here in the Diocese of Springfield and around the world. That's our news and information website, iobserve.org. And also be sure to friend us on Facebook, where you will be able to travel with our reporters as they work on stories for Real to Real and get the latest news on the Catholic Church. Like us at Catholic Communications.